This is a very special moment. You are the witness of the start of a new series called Learn That Lick, in which we, but first of all me, will learn a lick. But not just any lick, it'll be great licks, lovely licks, versatile licks, inspirational licks, bluesy licks, rocky licks, poppy licks, jazzy licks, whatever we feel like. Just like I told you before in the How to Get Better at Guitar video, this is something I'd like to do. But I want to do it more, and I feel like sharing these. Also as an homage to different players that I find inspiring, um, which today is Mick Taylor. No, not from the Stones, but the British guitar player you may know from that pedal show. And this was the video I was checking. So, yeah, it's a great lick. It's obviously a Stevie Ray Vaughan inspired blues turnaround lick over the 5, 4, 1 and 5 chord in E. Um, let us hear it. So, um, without further ado, let's figure it out. Um, because we clearly hear his playing outline the B7 chord in the first run, he probably starts playing uh, in B mixolydian at fret 7 because I just saw it. So let's have a closer look. So yeah, the lick starts at a B7, so fret 8, 7 and 7 from the G string down. So let's put it on half speed for a moment because that's helping us. So the first note is a slight double stop, which means two notes simultaneously. It sounds like this, so from minor to major in B7, which is from fret 7 to 8 at the G string, combined with 7 on the D string. And then fret 7 and 7 on the B and the E string, playing just a B7 arpeggio basically. Oh, by the way, the tone I'm getting today is from the Revival Drive by Origin FX. They sent it to me to try out and it's a great pedal, it's super versatile, it's a bit complicated but once you figure it out, you got some great amp-like uh, overdrive tones in it. So, um, so yeah, hooked up to my Les Paul Custom Shop R9, 59 reissue that is. Okay, off topic, back on topic, learn that lick baby. So it's from the 7 in Mixolydian, so fret 10 on the B string to fret 7 on the B string to fret 9 on the E string, which is the 9 in a B chord. It's a thing Stevie Ray Vaughan does a lot. So until now it's all been B Mixolydian. Okay, let's continue. So he's adding a, like an outside note to it to make it sound um, a little spicy. So from the B to the C, hammer on, pull off, um, 7, 8, 7, to fret 9 on the G string. So in total. Um, yeah, okay. After that, he plays fret 7 on the E string and down via fret 9 and 7 on the B string. So it's the, again, mixolydian down. But now he doesn't play the flat 7 but the 6. Because he runs to the A chord. So in total on the B chord he plays this. Cool B mixolydian lick with an outside note in it. Nice. Great lick. Part one. So that was the, the five chord in the, the turnaround. And as we all know, after the five chord we go to the four chord. A7. So let's see what he does on the A7 chord. Hmm, again, the same arpeggio down. So on B we played basically this. So on A we can play 
it's the same thing but two frets down. Um, okay, so he does a chromatic round down from the 9 to the octave. So we play an A major arpeggio, so it's 6, 5 and 5 from the G string down. And then on the E string, 7, 6, 5. Cool. Hmm. Then he plays the same lick twice, but in different octaves, I believe. So it's um, basically. Yeah, so it's 5 and 3 on the high E string and 5 on the B string. But uh, he plays the high A note twice because he ends on that and he does a sort of sliding down thing. Sweet, Mick. High E string. Okay, so there we are already. It's not that long. So for, uh, in total, let's try it out. Okay, so um, now I'm gonna take it slowly. Take a nip from my tea because he's British, so uh, we need to honor him. Keep calm and drink tea, they say, right? It's not a super logical thing, the first one, but that's why I think it sounds cool because I wouldn't normally play a lick like this if I just go by instinct. And that's when you keep refreshing your playing, if you find new ways to play over chords. Okay, so I'm 20 minutes in and um, it's time to get it up there. So, this is it. So, that's it. I was editing this video and I thought, hmm, I think I can do it faster. I didn't even practice anymore, but I just felt like the lick harvested itself into my brain. So, let's try it one more time. Well, I think it's better, but yeah, um, I will probably play this lick a few more times later this week, etc, etc, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cheers, bye. Thanks Mick for being a part of this video. <laughs> this is lick number one. So let's hope there will be more. Leave your suggestions in the comment section. The tabs for this lick are available at my Patreon page. Enjoy and have a wonderful day. Cheers.